Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel, where hot rodding and romance do coexist. I'm your host, Prince Magnum, and it has been a DIY week for sure. Um, let me say right now uh, that it is going to be an absolute joy to bring to you guys uh, one of my... Uh, this is this is one of the first times I've changed oil on Project Spirit Live in a live stream. We've done it in you know, previous uh, edited videos and thought it would be kind of neat for you guys to see, you know, it's not that exciting, um, but thought it would just be a great idea for you guys to kind of see what it looks like. Uh, that being said, uh, Project Spirit is, uh, you know, for those who do not know, hi, honey. <laughs> Here. Project Spirit is uh, my 1975 Ford Maverick four-door sedan. And uh, Project Spirit is uh, one of those cars that has really stood the test of time. So without question, I mean, she gets a lot of respect from a lot of people in the community because of her capabilities of standing that test of time. So we felt, hey, what's going on, Ian? So felt it would be kind of neat for you guys to see, you know, how easy it is to change oil and pretty much changing oil in all of these cars, um, believe it or not, is ridiculously easy so and changing oil in any car really is not that doggone hard so how does a, how does a classic car become a classic you take care of it so this is some general routine maintenance that all cars should go through regularly and uh, project spirit is no exception to the rule in order for her to continue to keep rocking and rolling the way that she does we have to take the time out and do some work so we're out here right beside good old spirit now had to go upstairs i'd forgotten to grab the oil can't do an oil change without brand new oil though i've heard people doing that stupid stuff and uh there we go hooking everything up so here in a second we're going to crawl under the car and uh basically i've got my tools out grab the socket wrench grabbed uh Grab my sockets, a good size collection of them. Got a lot of these from Harbor Freight and got this one, I think from some, I forget exactly where. Uh, got my oil filter wrench, more on this later. And got the new oil and uh, I've got my grease gun in case I, uh, in case the weather stays cooperative enough for me to be able to uh, uh, grease some fittings. She needs it, but again, back to that general routine maintenance. And of course we need an oil pan. So let me grab the rest of that and move it close enough for me to work. Grease gun. And my oil pan. Okay. Now again, um, this is not that exciting. Uh, it's not super important. What's going on, James? Welcome to live. We're uh, getting ready to do some work on my old classic car, Project Spirit. So we got to get up underneath Project Spirit, and uh, because I'm not a big guy, uh, I'm actually, you know, I actually tipped the scales at a whopping 152 pounds uh, last time we checked, 152, 154, it's not much, um, which that's out of shape for me, and I'm, I'm you know, at about 5'9", so it do, I, I don't take up much space, and Project Spirit sits high enough off the ground, I don't have to jack her up. If this was Project Lena, we would definitely have to get a jack under her and raise her up just a little bit so I could slide under her. Um, so that's just one of those things that one of the benefits of having one of these old cars. So we're going to get up under here and uh, kind of get underway. If you got long hair, tie it back because these old cars get dirty. Okay, let's see if I can get a good shot here. It's on the other side. Always, always. Ah. Now. Yeah, there it is. Go past the framework. Yeah. 
The oh, fun part, figuring out what pocket she's going to take. Now, I won't be able to see the chat because how I have things set up at the moment. So, just bear with me. Spirit takes a good size socket. Okay. So for those of you keeping score, this is a seven, seven eight socket right here. Is what Spirit's going to require for her uh, plug. Tidy, lefty, loosey, right? There we go. Thank you, dear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. There was something I did forget. Could you give me a towel of some sort, baby? And you could just see all that pure nastiness. If this came out of milky white, that would be very, very bad news for uh, Spirit. That would mean she'd have a blown head gasket. But I don't see anything that says there's any moisture whatsoever. That is a good thing. So we can live with that. That's wonderful news. Now we have her on an incline. And on this incline, this uh, basically allows Spirit to kind of move the oil towards the back of the pan. Now we're not going to get all of it out, but we're going to get as much of it out as possible. That's her plug, for those who care to know. Thank you, dear. Clean that off with a... Yeah, I know. Thank you, dear. Okay, see it looks good on it, so we're gonna run it. And we're just gonna let that drain. About a half quart low. Okay. Yes, dear. Okay, then. All right. Double check, make sure everything's looking good. <laughs> there we go. So right now, we're just letting everything drip out. And because of the thickness of the type of oil that we have to use on Project Spirit, it takes a couple of minutes. Um, I'm not going to take as, norm, as long as I normally do. Normally, what I will do is I will let her drain for close to a half an hour. Just let it drain and make sure I get out as much of the old oil as possible. But that's not truly as necessary as it sounds. That is just something that is a Prince Magnum thing. Uh, one of the reasons why I, uh, why I will do this uh, is because it's just... You know, I want as much fresh going in as possible. Uh, but do you have to do that? Not really. You know, when, when it comes to a, you know, a real, real light drip, you're fine. And that usually, depending on the thickness of your oil and all that other stuff, takes about five, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, a lot of shops, though, if you do this in a shop, a lot of them will rush through this part uh, because they're trying to make their money 
And the more vehicles they do, the more money they make. That's just kind of a common sense thing. So uh, nothing against shops and having your oil done in shops. It's just that because they're in such a rush and they're not going to take the extra time for your vehicle, no matter who you are, because time is money, they're going to rush you through. So because of that, that's one of the reasons why I advocate for doing your own oil, uh, doing your own oil changes wherever possible. Uh, but there have been times in the past that uh, time just did not allow it. Weather was bad or whatever the case may be. So immediately what I ended up having to do is I ended up having to take it to, you know, a spirit to a shop. And they're always real glad to work on an old car because uh, there's less stuff to get in the way. Um, which for the record, changing oil in Project Lean is just as easy. It's ridiculously easy. And in some ways, it's actually easier than Spirit because their her oil filter is just really easy to get to. And um, just it's Lean is just easy because all you got to do is crawl up under her and everything is just right there. So with Project Spirit, we actually have to get inside the hood to get to her oil filter, which we'll do that here in a minute. Now, if you're doing an oil change for the first time, make sure that you get an oil filter get the uh get the amount that is in the oil pan and spirit holds four quarts in her oil pan but figure in for the amount of oil that you're also going to need in that filter because if you don't do that what will happen is uh you won't um you're you're going to be running low on oil okay so spirit's slowly coming to a drip so we'll give her a few more minutes and uh we'll get in chit chat here and just you know Doggone it, I forgot to grab the filter. Hey, there you go. I'm having a great stream. Good to see you, mechanic. We're actually changing the oil on Project Spirit. I just got through dropping, the, you know, taking out the oil plug, and we're uh, draining out all the old oil, and we're getting ready to get up under the hood, pull the oil filter and everything, and then we'll fill her back up. Um, any day I get to work on Project Spirit is a good day, too, Okay. So not only am I having a blessed day. Yeah, I forgot the filter upstairs, honey. You'll grab the front. Actually, grab one of the Super Tech filters. We're going to use one of those. Get them out of my inventory. Yeah, I'm actually, we're actually underneath Project Spirit. That's why I'm lying down. See what I mean? Oh, well, wonderful. You know, I hate that term car guy. Okay. Hate that term. Um, I'll tell you right now, uh, the term car guy is just a nice way of saying car enthusiast. And there's nothing wrong with being a car enthusiast. There's a lot of channels here on YouTube that are car enthusiast based. And what do I mean by car enthusiast? They know the numbers. They know the brochure. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But then there's your shade tree mechanics. What we're doing is shade tree mechanic stuff, okay? Anybody could do this. But even if you don't do this, at least know the brand of oil that's going in your car when you take it to a shop. Know the brand of oil filter that you're using and all that stuff. You know, know your stuff on your car. Know how much oil it takes. Know the weight. Uh, know any additives that you use in it. I mean, know your stuff about your car. So even if, how much oil does she require? She requires four quarts of oil in her pan, but where's the oil filters at? Uh, they'll be in that one drawer next to the shelf with all the parts on. No, it'll be on the shelf. Should be on the shelf. And, uh, and her oil filter holds another quart so all total project spirit will hold five quarts of uh, of sae 30 weight oil that's uh, that is literally it so here in just a moment we're going to get up under the hood well we're going to bolt this back on please make sure that you put this back in because i've actually seen guys that forgot to put the oil plug back in and what ended up happening was when they went to put, uh, they put their oil in, it dumped on the ground. They weren't paying any attention. They got in a hurry. And then the next thing you know, they go to take off. 
no oil in the engine. And the next thing you know, they're, they're maybe a block away and the engine locks up on them. So don't do that. That, that would be a bad day for us all, especially with an engine this old. Which for the record, while I'm still waiting for that to drip out, we are looking at an automatic. We found an automatic transmission. And I got to talk to the guy because he's also got a V8 for sale too. Uh, he's got an old uh, uh, 302 Windsor sitting there. For those who are across the pond, that would be the 5.0 Windsor. Thank you, dear. Got my Super Tech filter. Which ironically enough, those feel like they're even better than the ones you get from Fram and STP. I was actually surprised about that. There's a there's actually some density to that, so it means they actually built it with some quality in mind, which is amazing. Hmm. All right, we're oh no problem, no problem. Uh, now it will be hard at times for me to uh, to keep up with the chat, so I do apologize. But I <laughs> hey, for a little while, Lena was the star of the show for a little while. She kind of took over for a minute. When Project Spirit is down, Lena takes over. All right, let's get this underway again. Try to make sure you guys see as much as possible because I don't want you to miss out on too much. So she's doing good. I'm comfortable with that, so we're going to go ahead. Where is it? There it is. Be sure not to cross thread. Get this back in straight. Cross threading is a bad thing. Now, some people say hand tight. I snug it. I snug it down real good. I don't go super tight, but I've always gave a good snug to it because I've had these back off a little bit. And that's good. So that is done. She, uh, all the old oil is drained. All right, so that's care of that. I'm getting oil everywhere. Good God. All righty. You do realize, Ian, once Spirit gets the V8, they're not going to be much to keep up with her. But Lena still always have her own, you know, her own way about her. It's one of the things I love about Lena. Is she's she's different, you know. One of the things we love on this channel is our different our different projects. You know, they're not doing what everybody else wants. Hmm. All right, bring you back out from underneath Project Spirit. We know Ian. Ian Ian here. He's a big fan of Project Lena. That's. That's his favorite car, which for the record, Princess Faye uh, says that, uh, you know, she, would, she wouldn't mind having a truck or she wouldn't mind having um, uh, a smart car. So she's even said if the opportunity comes up for her to get a smart car, she would look at getting rid of Project Lena. I'm like, no, no, you can't get rid of that co-star. She's actually doing pretty good for herself. All right. <clears throat> God, I'm getting old. All righty. So now the next part of this. Oh, real quick. That's the old motor oil right there. That's it. Filthy, nasty, dirty. I don't see a whole lot in the way of metal shavings or anything like that floating to the surface. I don't see anything that says there's anything bad going on with her engine. This is a good thing. So now for the next stage. What was that? <laughs> That's true. All right. Calm down, you stinking phone. All right. Now we're under the hood of dear old Project Spirit. Now, for those who are not familiar 
with this engine bay. This is an inline 250. We'll get a good look at it here in a minute. Right down there. As best as I can show. Right down in here is the oil filter. Okay, now we've got to get that oil filter out. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. Back under the car you go, Prince Magnum. Back under the car. Okay, so we gotta go back under Dick Spirit. Initially, I thought this, uh, this camera mount was going to piss me off. It's still pissing me off, but not as bad as it was. So that's a good thing. I forgot about that one bracket that's in the way, so we're going to have to do from underneath Spirit. Um, so we're going to slide everything closer to us, and we're going to kind of go from there. And... Right over here on the other side of Spirit is none other than Project Lena. We'll get a look at her in a minute. Won't really be able to see it. We'll have to go topside for that. I'll reach up here with our oil filter wrench. I got one of these on purpose. Uh, because sometimes these things can pitch on there good and tight and it is so and they make oil filters so doggone difficult to get off anymore that it's ridiculous. Okay, honey. So you're gonna wrestle it up here best you can. Not knocking your camera over. So much easier not doing this on camera. There it goes. Real easy. I think that should have loosened it up enough. Now there's going to be a bunch of oil that comes out again. Do not panic. That's what you want. Because that means that the, filter, that the filtration system's been working. You're going to get oil everywhere. As usual. Drop that in without making a mess. And there we go, filters out. Ridiculous easy. Okay, so that again takes care of that. Now we're gonna let everything drip for a moment and we're gonna reach over here and grab our new oil filter. And we're gonna crawl out from underneath the car. Oh, son of a gun. Oh. This old man's getting too damn. I'm getting too old for this. Uh, huh. Okay. Wasn't too much show with the oil filter, but it was still worth it. Ah, playing Animal Crossing. Okay. Now, the next part of this. We have to get out our oil filter. <laughs> this is Project Spirit's oil filter. Okay. This thing holds about a quart of oil. This is not a joke. This thing holds about a quart of oil. Now, basically, oil comes in through here and is pushed back out through the paper filter and everything through here. It does just fine. Uh, yes, that is a big freaking filter. Holds about a quart of oil. 
and again, um, you know, for those of you keeping score, uh, they don't make filters this big for cars today. Project Lena, her filter maybe, at best, holds a little over, I would say, a third of a quart. Not yet, baby, but I'll be back under the car in just a moment. Oh, God. Oh, it's already getting hot out here. And it's supposed to get back up to what it was yesterday. For those of you across the pond, uh, it's gonna. It's supposed to get up to about, uh, I'm going to say about uh, 30 degrees Celsius again today. For those of you across the pond, for us, it's 90 degrees. Yep. So it's uh, it's going to be uh, in the 30s Celsius here in the uh, here where I live. For those of you across the pond. And Ian, I actually looked that up specifically for you, so you would know what I because I, if I say you know you know Fahrenheit, uh, you're not going to fully you know it's going to be like okay that sounds really hot. But when I I noticed yesterday when I said what it was in Celsius, you're like good God, you're gonna you know you were like you were gonna die out in that heat. You knew exactly. Oh, it's 24 for you guys. Not super hot, but getting there. But yeah. Uh, so it is, and then with the humidity, it'll get up. It'll get up in the mid 30s uh, for us. Give you an idea, guys. Uh, zero degrees Celsius is freezing for us. Uh, it's, um, you know, it's uh, what 30 uh, 30 degrees. You know, is when everything starts freezing uh, for us. You know, the freezing point in Fahrenheit for us. Uh, 210 to 212 Fahrenheit is boiling. 100 degrees Celsius is boiling. Okay, so that'll give you kind of an idea of what we're talking about. So, are we buffering a bit? Fuck me running. Mm -hmm. All righty. So now that we've talked about the filter a little bit, let's get the motor on. Now we've got our five quarts of SAE 30. Yes, we are. Okay, we've got our SAE 30 weight motor oil, which we picked up from our friends at Rural King. Now, with Project Spirits in line six, though as awesome as it is, we need to say right now, don't think performance V8, think tractor. I know that sounds crazy. So anything that they have put in here would be fine for a tractor. Well, Ford used these inline sixes for everything, including their tractor division when they had one. I don't know if Ford has one anymore, but Ford used to have their own tractor division and they used to use the same engines that's in Project Spirit in their tractors. So don't think, don't think performance V8, think tractor. I know that sounds crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm a little early today uh, because we I wanted to get out here and do some work with Project Spirit. And I wanted to bring you all along, you know. Now what I'm actually doing is I'm opening up the case of motor oil. I'm gonna stick my finger down in the motor oil and then we're gonna coat it up real good with brand new oil. Then you're gonna dab that onto the filter, right like such, right on the new gasket. Now double check before you, uh, you know, before you get back under there, you know, before you go just trying to slap this new filter on, make sure that the old gasket came off completely from the old filter because if you don't do that, it's not gonna seal up right. Now you put the new motor oil on that filter because it helps seal it up, okay? You don't want any oil leaks, and Project Spirit's got enough of those. Yep, that's all you do. Doesn't hurt a thing. And you still, and this is actually a process that you do on modern cars. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. Okay. Yep, stick your finger in the motor, Earl. Get it all lubed up.
So now you can see that the motor oil is on there. We can begin. Okay, honey. We can begin reinstalling the, the new filter. Yeah, I get it. I just have to behave myself, you know? <laughs> I get it. I have to behave myself. All right. Back under the car we go. Get up under there. Bring y'all with me. As best as I could show you, all the way up under, oh fuck, right up under there is where the filter has to go, it's right over there. So we're going to, there's no way I could do that without possibly breaking something. Doesn't work that way. There we go. New filters in place. Ready to go. Now, you can hand tighten it. I've had good luck hand tightening it, but I have seen in the past where a uh, hand tight did back off on an oil filter. If that happens, you'll start leaking oil. So if you don't feel comfortable with hand tight, by all means, you are welcome to use your oil filter wrench and turn it back the other way. Torque it down a little bit. Don't get crazy with it, though. Or you'll never get the dang thing back off again. Hey, we share the responsibilities. We share the responsibilities. Yeah, that's right. We is the team. So there you have it. Filters back in place. Now we have to put the oil in. Okay? This is the fun part because it's satisfying and makes you feel good, like you job job well done sort of thing. Now, if we get a chance, we're gonna to try to grease some fittings on here, or as uh, I made, uh, made reference to, uh, Project Spirit when doing, um, What's going on, Gavin Jen? Just doing some maintenance on Project Spirit. We are in the process. <laughs> oh my goodness. We married almost as long as you and you and Pinky. That's a long time. Seven years. Nowadays, most marriages. Son of a All righty. Now, back over here. Yeah. Is where, good to see you, Gavin John. Is where this is going to go. 
we're going to clean a little bit of this out. Now, I keep an oil funnel under the hood for Project Spirit uh, in case I got to put oil in. I need that funnel. All right. Now, Project Spirit requires this type of oil treatment. This, uh, this is an STP engine oil treatment with a stop leak in it. And uh, this is a thick, gelatinous mess. Don't get it anywhere if you're trying to keep your engine clean. But she requires the zinc because uh, that's the way they built them back then. They used to put zinc in the oil to help lubricate the engine. Well, times have changed. Engines have changed. You no longer have to do that. But these old engines still require it. Back in the early 80s, they stopped putting the zinc in there. So because of that, you have to get an engine additive with it in. And then with the stop leak, God darn it. With the stop leak, Project Spirit is a typical engine of the 1970s. She leaks oil. So without this, Project Spirit would leak oil like a sieve. So every oil change and every couple of times in between the oil change, I'll put some of this in. And it keeps her from, basically keeps her from, uh, you know, leaking everywhere. And again, for those of you keeping score, Project Spirit is coming up on 300,000 all original miles per engine. Meaning, for those of you keeping score, that we have a 45-year-old Never been rebuilt, still running after all these years. I think it might be a little of both, honey. We're not in direct sunlight. Then again, it may even be the fan that's on me. And this stuff takes time, lots of time. That's it for that, let that drain down. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll have to look at doing that, Ian. We'll have to look at doing that, buddy, because uh, I love motorsports. All right, we're getting to that point where it'll be time to start adding Project Spirit's engine oil back in. Yes, we're gonna have to go up to the drag strip sometime and do just that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so now that we have the new oil filter on, we've got the oil going down in. This is literally, in my opinion, the most satisfying of changing your own oil.
Now, once this gets down and we fire it up, everything circulates. Trust me when I say you'll notice how much smoother a car will run with an oil change. They get better gas mileage. They run cooler. They just perform so much better with a fresh oil change. How often should you do this? With conventional oil like we're using every 3,000 miles. With uh, your synthetic every 5,000 miles. I'm not sure what that is in kilometers. I would have to look that up. That is the standard. Do not wait. Because if you do, catastrophic things will happen. Ta -da! All five quarts. Oh. And legitimately, we're done. Just like that. But we do have one more thing to do. I'm going to bring you all over here now. All right. And the temperature is already, I imagine, getting close to that 30 degrees Celsius. What the heck? Holy crap. Hey, Sean. Good to see you, buddy. We're hanging out with Project Spirit right now doing a quick oil change to the old girl about time you show up <laughs> good to see you man I've been missing you shoot my little sister's been asking about you all right so the oil is in I don't see any visible leaks we're in business so Project Spirit's ready to rock and roll. Now, we do have to take care of one other thing. And this is part of the oil change. I don't care who you are. We need to get rid of that old motor oil. This has to go for recycling. This is an absolute must, especially in the United States. If you get caught just dumping motor oil, you'll get fined by the EPA. But along with that, come on. If it's, it's free to recycle. <laughs> right. Oil in this country is free to recycle, so we've got to get rid of it. And again, that's where we're at. Okay, yeah, Hannah does love to pick on you big time, brother. Ugh.
And you guys are going to love this. This is crazy. Let me bring you all over here. Again, that was Project Spirit's motor oil. It's pretty nasty. So that's no good. So here's what we're going to do to make recycling easy. You get your, uh, your funnel. Let this drain out a little bit. You can just feel how nasty it is in there. You just feel it. What? Unfortunately, I, I, it wouldn't sync up with mine at the moment. I don't know why. I'll have to look at it, but it, I'm using ours. I couldn't get it to sync up for some reason. Yeah, I know. And the other day it did just fine. So I'm going to have to look at it. Okay. So the next stage that we have to do is we have to pour that into here. The reason why is, again, to make it easier to transport for recycling. And you turn it in. And uh, actually quite a few auto parts places will recycle your oil for free. No questions asked. Do this very slowly. You get this stuff everywhere. And you can actually see how nasty that looks. Just ridiculously nasty. Engine oil gets really dirty. And if you make a mess with this stuff, you swear to God, you dumped it, you know, you dumped a gallon everywhere. Just single drop looks looks ridiculous. Looks like the Exxon Valdez. Just like that. Gosh, turn it. I totally just did that, didn't I? Well, a little bit's not going to hurt a whole lot, but dang it, I didn't want that to happen. I'm going to set that there for a moment. Well, it's good to see you, Sean. Missed you, buddy. There we go. It's capped, ready to go for recycling. Of the freaking mess I made on the side. So, now that we've accomplished the oil change, I'm glad you are, man. I'm really glad you are. Now that we've accomplished the oil change, the asphalt will soak up the rest of this. Uh, the next thing, Obviously, we're going to have to get rid of the oil filter and all that other stuff. We're going to have to clean everything out, but we could do that off camera. But for the casual observer, this is done. It really, it, if I'm not talking to a camera and I do this, it takes me about a half an hour. Okay. Honestly, it does. It really doesn't take super long. Um, but I'm talking to camera to death, so it's going to take longer. Just how it goes. So Project Spirit is now ready to drive. Okay, um, now uh, the lube job, because it is getting ridiculously hot, uh, will have to come later. Uh, and if the temperature cooperates enough, later on today, we're going to change out the alternator belt. Um, so Princess Faye and I got to go take off. We got to take care of a couple of things. We got to pick up some food items and things like that. So we, uh, I don't know if we're taking Spirit or Lena, but I do know. Uh, that you guys are going to want to hear Spirit run after that oil change. So if my wife is paying attention, which I'm sure she is, I'm hoping she can grab my uh, uh, grab the keys off the hook by the door for Spirit. We'll fire her up real quick, listen to her run, make sure everything's in order, and then we'll button it. We'll go ahead and get ready to shut it down. And job well done, Prince Magna. So there we have it. You know. 
Oh, and Lena needs gas. Okay. <laughs> Brother, it is getting hot out here. Even with that fan on me, I'm still sweating to death. I hope. <laughs> yes, please. Yes. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. All right. <sighs> Probably looked like a giant there for a second. All right. Here we go. That's right. So are you, baby? Are you too? Uh, yes, I am. You can see that I am. All righty. So this project is now ready for us to hit the key, okay? Yep. Very good, Sean. Very good. All right. Oh, yeah, we, we checked her over, but now the real test. Hey, that camera mount does actually work pretty decent. It's not screwing up on me. We got the oil in. We got the plug in before we put the oil in. Like I said, I've seen people do that. It's freaking. It's like, are you kidding me? How could you forget? Gosh, dang. Remind me not to buy any more of this Chinese BS. It's ridiculous. All right. All right, keys are in. What I'm actually listening for is any sounds of any problems. Yeah, yeah, I need a new camera mount. For this phone, uh, for this device, this one's ridiculous. I may have to make one. But you can hear her, she's running solid. Actually running really good. Really happy with this. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to do the joke today. It just didn't seem right doing it without you. We tried. We tried. Okay, hang on. For those of you who love Project Spirit, some sounds of the 70s. Sounding real good. Real happy with that. Really happy with that. Clutch is a little loose yet after having to work on it the other day. But doesn't doesn't feel super bad. It just could be better. So Project Spirit now has a fresh oil change in her. Well, we're back to the same problems as always with these old cars. Mm. Uh oh. All right. So now. You want to hear Lena run? All right, hang on. <laughs> Come on, man. You knew that we weren't going to leave Lean out. You're in the stream. We can't do that. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. And yes, we'll get your spoiler alert. There you go, Ian. Oh, here, real quick, Ian. If you ever see this happen in Project Lena, it's about to get freaking real. Okay, so Lena is running pretty decent, but she's due for an oil change too. Okay, Ian. Hang on. John, while you were away, we have a brand new joke. A brand new joke just... You're going to love it. going to love it. You ready, Sean? Ready, Sean? Here we go. Spoiler alert. See what you've been missing? <laughs> All right, I'll come back down and grab this crap here in just a bit. Let's head on upstairs. Woo! <laughs> That's Ian's new favorite joke. He loves that joke. <laughs> See what you've been missing while you were away? <laughs> Freaking hot out there. So, project spirit is done. With that much hover, come back out here, do something we know I shouldn't do. Uh, <laughs> I don't have the I don't have the drill out here right now. We'll have to do that one later. Because if later. Uh, if the uh, weather cooperates with us, if the weather doesn't cooperate enough with us, we're going to be back up here working on the bicycle. So we're going to be working today. Get some stuff done. Oh, if Queen was here right now, she'd be getting on to me. So, oh shoot, hang on, there is one more thing. Ian, there is one thing we did forget. You know what we forgot? Your aerial shot of the project cars. Dang, I made a mess. There you go. What do you think, Sean? What we did to Project Lena the other day. That looks good, doesn't it? The two project cars side by side. And that's the, no matter w which one you like, that is iconic. The two, uh, the two project cars side by side, that is the true icon right there. Both of them together. This is the new project. We're doing a bicycle. We cleaned up all the, we cleaned up a lot of the chrome. I'm slowly taking this down to the bare metal. So if uh, all goes well, uh, we're gonna get more of this taken care of later on today and start disassembling a little bit more, getting things cleaned up that front uh, and start getting this thing in prime so we can get this thing to the point where I can start riding it and uh, Prince Magnum has to get back into shape. Now, real quick, Project Car updates. Um, Project Lena, we are looking at doing a, um, getting her catalytic converters uh, changed over. I'm going to look at MagnaFlow. 
uh, because I've had their catalytic converters before in the past and they're really good. Uh, I'm going to see if they still have good ones out there available and that'll work great for projects, uh, Project Lena. Project Lena needs uh, needs the you know new catalytic converters, and uh, and we're probably going to see about uh, getting some turbo mufflers, very similar to what's on Project Spirit, to improve her exhaust sound and give her a slightly better flow than what she does from the factory. So we're going to look at that uh, here in the near future. Uh, so Ian, you're going to get custom exhaust. He's already getting excited. I didn't even get that out, and he was already excited about that. Yeah, Sean, I'm smoking on straight. When I'm doing the DIY stuff like this, I got to step back. I got to have a cigarette because if not, for some reason, if something doesn't quite, it, even if it is going right, I, I get real edgy if I don't. So on the DIY end, I'll go ahead and break my rule this time. Normally, I don't do, you know, I don't do uh, like to smoke on camera uh, anymore, but, and for obvious reasons, but that's just kind of how it is. So there you go. The project car. So that's what we're looking at with Project Lena. Custom, uh, customizing her exhaust. I don't think we're going to go full exhaust. It's too expensive right now. And it's aluminized, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but we are looking at a uh, custom catalyst, uh, you know, catalyst converter. Yep. That's the icons right there. The, the true icons on, on this channel. It's not just what Princess Bay and I do. No, this, uh, you know, what she does or what I might do. It is the project cars. Those are the icons. Project Spirit. We have a lead on a brand new automatic transmission for her. We're going to be changing her over to an automatic. Uh, this is not some cheap fly-by-the-night automatic transmission. About $400 U.S. I'm not sure what that would be in, uh, across in other countries, but $400 U.S., the transmission's already customized. It already has a mild shift improvement kit in it, so it'll shift very crisp, which is exactly what we want. So I don't have to spend the money on it. So this is definitely it. Yes, we should. We should. Give me a minute here. Yeah, Sean, you missed all sorts of stuff. Project Spirit has a brand new custom steering wheel. Well, it's in the Discord, too. I don't know. I think Sean's in the Discord with us. Yeah, so we have a brand new automatic that we're looking at buying. Then in the next part of the project is we have to get a brand new stick shift to go in it and any odds and ends that we'll need. Like she's going to need a flex plate, not a flywheel, and she's going to need a new starter just for this project swap. Once that is all done, Project Spirit will have a brand new automatic in her and be like every other car out there and not be rocking the stick anymore. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give up my stick shift. Uh, there is a gag that we'll get to at a later date, um, which Princess Faye will be shocked to know that, that that her gag. Basically, she went over and grabbed this little twig and walked up, handed it to me. You can always still drive stick. Just keep this in the car. Believe it or not, it is still in the car. I won't take it out. So Spirit's running solid now, but we do get to get that, uh, that whole thing taken care of with the... Uh, uh, you know, with the, the Z bar linkage is just not working out anymore. Now I could go ahead and opt out for, um, for hydraulic clutch, but I don't want to have to mess with all that. We'll just swap her over to an automatic. It's just easier to get the parts. Yeah. True story, brother. <laughs> so yeah, we're live a lot earlier than usual, but we're still going to be live right, uh, uh, tonight. Uh, couldn't do, uh, Sexy Saturday yesterday because Princess Faye did not get home till like 11 o'clock last night, our time. So that had been like, I think that would have probably been about 5, 6 o'clock in the morning for you, Ian. So it, it would have been ridiculously late. But yeah, Project Spirit's running good. Lena's running good. Other than we just got to get that clutch, uh, that freaking Z-bar linkage taken care of again. I might send her over to the shop and have them adjust it out a little bit because uh, the linkage for the clutch literally just slipped out. So I was on the way home and I was stuck in second gear. It was a good stream last night. It wasn't as big as I was hoping for. You know, I think a lot of people were disappointed about Sexy Saturday. It just happens, you know. It was a damn good stream. I had a great time. 
got a lot accomplished, didn't we? When I say Sean, even uh, I think Sean even might have missed out on all the new aircraft removers too. We're up to fourteen now. Of course, I got one more to do for Ian. One more to do, and then then we're gonna take out the Death Star. Which we all know that means. Be time after that uh, for the uh, for the uh, season finale. Then we move on to the next season. Yeah, we actually used some aircraft remover on this part last night. Got a lot of that cleaned up. Looks a lot better, but we got a lot more to do yet. So I don't know if I'll do that on camera or not. I might. I might do that tonight. But I need to pick up a sanding disc uh, for the angle grinder. Start beginning on the bike itself as well tonight. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. That's the one I'm talking about. Uh, is doing the one uh, with the Almighty from Destiny 2 exploding. Which I have a specific idea that I'm going to do with that. Oh, man. I know, baby. I know. Uh, I'll need your help. Uh, we're getting ready to button it up. Whew. Dang. I can't believe how hot it's getting out here already. Mm -hmm. The rest of me going to get up in about 90 degrees. So, mm -hmm. so there you go. What you guys think? Was it neat seeing the oil changed in a classic car that's almost 46 years old? Classic car. It's an antique, actually. Our car's going to be 50 years old before you know it. Half a century. That car's almost half a century old and still going that way. That's impressive. Project Lena is uh, three years away from make, making classic car status. Ian, you might. She's, uh, she's 17 years old right now. Actually, I take the, uh, yeah, she's 17 years old, a little over 17 years old now. Project Lena, 17 years old. She was built in April of uh, 2003. So in three more years, she'll be considered a classic car. And in another four years, well, five years after that, at 25 years old, she'll be considered an antique. She'll be considered an antique car. which at that time will actually be able to go and get uh, her historical plates. So Project Lena will be able to have historical plates in another, what, seven years? Which is pretty cool. We just got to keep her running that long because uh, a, a lot of those cars don't last that long. The fact that she's lasted as long as she has is impressive and that she's in the shape that she's in. Most of the ones that are like Project Lena, where I live, I don't know what it's like everywhere else. I think it's pretty well, pretty well the same. But most of the time, uh, cars like Project Lena are in really bad shape where I live. Uh, they're in complete disrepair. You'll hear them coming through places, and they just sound horrible, horrible. Uh, every lifter in the in the engine's clattering. Um, just moving down the road, you hear thump 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 or squeak squeak squeak. And it's because the wheel bearings and the CVC joints are wearing out. People don't take care of them. Uh, transmissions no longer shift right. The engines are pretty well shot. And people just abuse them. Within ten, usually within 10 years of after that car was built, most of those cars were just trashed. Uh, as a matter of fact, I had a friend who had the previous uh, version of the Pontiac uh, Grand Am. It was a late 90s just before they kind of restyled it to what project lena is and uh i had her engine was running so rough i'm like i don't know if i can make this thing run as well as it should but give me a chance and i did some modifications to it and that damn car ran like a champ as a matter of fact it, when i was done it sounded throatier uh <clears throat> it didn't have the ram air induction so i uh, put a pod filter on it and moved it in a spot where it was away from the heat and everything so it was actual cold air induction. 
and then we uh, and then I cleaned out her uh, fuel injection system and things like that. And when it was all said and done with, she hit that key and heard that car start. I said, let's take it down the road. And she took it down the road and she's like, oh, my God. She's like, I'm scared of my car now. Open that thing up wide. And it was neat. She's like, I cannot believe this is my car. She's like, I didn't want a hot rod. I said, but it'll run good. Oh, yeah, it runs great. <laughs> I didn't need no hot rod. Matter of fact, when she romped on it, it barked the tires. And she's like, oh, my God. Well, she got with a guy. He loved it, the modifications. And he loved driving it. And he took it out and was running it hard and blew the guts out of the engine. Blew that engine up high. And uh, now the end of that. Of course, then shortly after that, she had a she had an, she was on oxygen, had an accident after that, and about burned herself alive. And uh, she ended up in a nursing home, passed away last year. But but I did uh, basically I basically tweaked her car a little bit, and man, it ran like a champ. It was fun. <laughs> it was a fun little ride after that. All right, let's go down and look at the steering wheel real quick, and then we got to shut her down so Princess Faye and I can go take care of some business. But All right, let's just go down and take a look at the brand new custom steering wheel in Project Spirit, okay? We'll get in there and get a good look at it. Then we'll shut her down. Oh, freaking hot. Of course, it doesn't help I wear all black all the time. <laughs> so what'd you guys think you know was this pretty cool seeing you know seeing project spirit uh you know routine maintenance sort of stuff i mean i had fun doing it i enjoy working on my car it's a lot of fun i don't care what anybody says all right sean the brand new custom steering wheel We put the wheel cover on, ow. Because working at McDonald's, I get oil all over my hands uh, and it's so hard to wash off. So I put the wheel cover on to protect it, but I'll go ahead and. Mm. Horn button does work. So now we've got that done. This done. The rear tail light panel. And real quick. The mileage. Coming up on 300,000. We're we are getting down to where uh, it's a little under uh, 13,000 to go. And she's still going strong. Beep, beep. <laughs> that actually feels better in the hand. I really like that feel. It feels so much better. Feels good in the hands. Right down there is the new belt. There you go. There, turn around. All right. So did you guys enjoy this? This is a quick little stream. Oh, quick, it was about an hour long. Uh, got a little bit done to the old girl. She's running pretty good now. I can feel pretty comfortable with that. Uh, so she's good for another three, you know, 3,000 miles, which I'll take me a couple months to get. And uh, 
We're going to keep you updated on all the new parts that are going to be coming in on the project cars. Uh, so, so far, so good. Project Spirit is running tip top. And uh, Project Lean is running pretty decent. I can live with that. Um, yeah, it's been a fun stream. Fun stream. I'm glad you guys were in here hanging out with us. This is the stuff that I love to do. This is where I'm at home. And uh, to be able to bring you along on a, on a ride like this is so much fun. Right now, I know Ian was just all tickled because of the fact that, you know, we got out there and was, uh, you know, he got to see Lena. That's that's his baby right there. He loves that car. So, all righty. So, before we end the stream, we do need to go up. We need to do two more things. Two more things before we end the stream. The first is, spoiler alert. <laughs> Had to do that one just for you, brother. And we gotta go up to the office. Sean, you still in here? You better still be in here. No sense of doing this junk if you're not. <laughs> Dang it, I am burning alive in this. <sighs> it's hot out there. All right. Well, I'm glad you guys had fun. I'm sure I got everything where I need it. Okay, I got to go get the other camera stand. Fuck. So, let's go grab the camera stand real quick. And then we can do this proper. Woo! In classic cars, they get hot on the inside, but believe it or not, the newer ones get even hotter. I'm not 100% sure why. You would think with all that cheap plastic in a lot of them, they wouldn't get that hot, but they do. Oh. There we go. Took me a second. This thing just does not cooperate with me. Now, uh, here on the Prince Magnum channel, we'll get some of the awesome shots that we get out over the hood of the Project Cars, Project Spirit, and Project Lena. Um, in order to do that, we use these amazing looking digital cameras. These cameras are amazing. They're uh, uh, 1080 pixel uh, high definition uh, dash cams. Really good. And uh, that being said, um, they do such a great job that we use them for everything. Um, because of that, there is no camera stands other than the way to mount them to the dash. Uh, so in order to, you know, uh, if I want to set them up somewhere or something like that, I had to come up with a camera stand design. Now that I have said that, uh, I got the idea that I was going to go in behind HQ here and I cut down this little tree. Normally the city comes through and cuts down all these little trees. And we actually showed that patch of trees uh, that, uh, that I got, got the, the wood from to do this project. And what I did was I cut out a section and brought it in and uh, basically made my own camera stand. And the camera stand that I made is right here. Now, what I had to do was I had to shave off this bottom so it sits nice and flush right like that. So to sit nice and stable. Then I carved out this section right here. Now the camera just sits in there perfectly, just like that. And the camera lens sits down here at the end of the camera and kind of juts out off of the camera. So uh, to, uh, to accommodate for that, I had to make this little knock right here. To make this little knock, what I had to do was I had to take this file right here, this half moon shape file, and I laid it up on top of the wood, and I worked it back and forth, back and forth, 
And so I have this perfect little knock right like that. So because I used this file right here on this block of wood, that must mean I am good at filing and should try my hand at being a secretary. John, you better been in here for that. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. There it was. Huh. There it was. John, you better been in here for that. <laughs> All righty. It has been an awesome stream. We do need to shut down. I got stuff I got to take care of. I got to go clean that mess up. Uh, so again, thank you all for being here with us um, and, you know, enjoying, enjoying the project cars again. Like I said, it's going to be a DIY week and we're probably going to continue this theme well into next week uh, as the projects uh, start, you know, we start doing more to each project car. So that being said, stick around. I'll try to keep everyone posted on what we're going to be working on that day. But as the temperature keeps rising here in Missouri, it's going to be hard to tell you what we're going to be doing next. So just heads up. Um, let's see. If uh, Princess Faye's schedule permits, Sexy Saturday will definitely be on again this coming Saturday. Uh, Friday, though, um, is kind of going to be kind of a hit and miss. Uh, you know, I think we're going to look at just turning Fiesta Friday into just Food Friday, uh, where we do a cooking live. Uh, so we're definitely looking at that. Along with that, um, like I said, uh, you know, Thursdays have not changed. Thursdays will not change. We will be here in the office doing, uh, doing Sober Talk on those days. Uh, the rest of the time, just kind of expect that, you know, as the temperature changes, it's going to depend on what we're doing that day. So that brings us to a good stopping point. Again, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for hanging out with, uh, you know, with me. You guys are amazing. You guys are the Maverick Nation. Every last one of you are awesome. You know, you get the one. You guys are the ones that are getting me where I need to go. Hands down, bar none. So, as always. It's a deep reminder, especially with what we did today. Get out there and work on a project. I don't care what it is. Just do something with yourself. Remember, idle hands and a creative mind go together like oil and water. If you have a sweetheart, sweep them off their feet and do something special for them today. And as always, especially in these dark times, if no one out there has told any of you that they love you today, Prince Magnum does. God bless you. And have a happy 24. Thank you. <laughs>